Yes, yeah. It's your boy, DJ Hope the Anointer. Nasty Net in the building, Middle East. And we have a special guest on this January 30th, 2009, this wonderful night at the Middle East, at the MOP show, the host of the show, my main man, Ed OG, a legendary OG in the Beantown International MC game. What's going on? I am great, man. You know, it's good. It was a great night, man. Uh, shout out to my man Leeds. Shout out to GYP. We threw the show. Shit was, excuse me, it was crazy. <laughs> this was crazy. It was just crazy. So, Ed OG, man, you are well known in the Boston area. You actually have history with 95.3 FM yes. with Dave Mays and the Source. Maybe go into a little bit of your history with the with the darker side. Um, You know, back, back in the... Uh, Probably like, i say, 87, 88, we was messing around with Dave and um, my, my man John Schechter, who's out in Vegas now. He got the hip-hop honeys. He's crazy. <laughs> John, shout out to John and Dave. I mean, they started the street beat. Um, we used to be on there all the time, every week, man. We bugged those dudes until they let us come on the radio. They finally let us come on, and we did our thing. And we and, and we was there from the inception of, of the source, and you know, from everything from that point on. So, you know, we we we, we go way back with ninety five point three. It's always played the real hip hop. It's always. And I'm glad you yeah. is bringing it back. Uh, amen, amen to that. All right, so as a Boston rapper, you were pretty much the first big Boston rapper that people nowadays can remember. So can you talk a little bit about, like, the progression from the days, like, I Gotta Have It, all the way up till now. You're collaborating with greats like Premier, P-Rock, people like that. And talk about any other future, pro, you know, uh, programs, stuff like that. Um, you know, from, from back then, you, you had to be good, basically. Nowadays, anybody can rap. Anybody can have a home studio. Everyone's a rapper, a producer. You know, back then, it cost a lot of money. And if you didn't have financial backing or you wasn't real serious about your craft, you wasn't doing it. So that's why, you know, you got the best of everybody, you know, throughout the whole 90s and, and late 80s. You know, early 90s, mid 90s, you got the best of what people had to offer. Now, like I said, everybody can do it. So it's kind of watered down. But, you know, as far as future projects, man, my group, Special Teams, we put out an album on Duck Down um, in 07, critically acclaimed, stereotypes record. My man, Jason and Slain. Um, we got a new album coming out this year. I got an album with me and Master Ace coming out this year called the A and E. Oh, that's gonna be cold. That's gonna it's, be it's cold. the A and E project. We got production on that. Um, we got everybody. Uh, uh, this, this new kid, man, really. This new kid, M Phases, did a couple of joints. We got my man Supreme One from Boston. Actually, he's originally from Russia, but he grew up in Boston. Homegrown. He did a bunch of joints on that record. We got KRS on there. We got Dayla on there. We got Mos on there. It's, uh, it's gonna be awesome. It's, it's a it's a real real crazy record. Yo, let me oh, hope you know when to get on that. Let me get on that joint right there. <laughs> it's a crazy, be <laughs> crazy record. Right, so right. you know that's coming out uh, in the summer. Special teams in the summer. Uh, uh, Ed OG album. I haven't put an album out since '04. Right, my own worst enemy. Yeah, with yeah. Pete Rock. Shout out to my own worst enemy. Yeah. That's some Shout classic out to Pete stuff. Rock. You know, I'm gonna put an album. I'm gonna put an album out at the end of the year. You know, and it's just gonna really, really be, the, you know, the type of album that I want to do, man. I'm in a position to do what I want to do. I don't have to conform. I don't have to do, you know, what's trendy. I'm gonna do what my fans appreciate. So, you know, you're gonna get like. Actually, it's going to be four albums coming out this year, man. The Mass Ace, a &E, Special Teams, Ed OG Solo, and I got a, a, a group. Me and my man Antonio and Saldi, we, we, we formed a group called Four Peace. We do a lot of community. Yeah, you're just doing a lot of prolific work right now. I'm promoting shows. I'm doing everything, man. I wear like 100 different hats. I'm Jamaican. I'm Haitian. I'm black. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm whatever you want to call me because right. I'm doing right. everything, man. I'm Barack Obama. Uh, I'm to ask you, you know, coming out of Hip Hop Radio, uh, the Darker Side Department, when I was chilling with Rakim, I asked him this question about his technique. You know, when he gets in the studio, when he zones out in the music. So I wanted to ask you the same question. What, what would you say is your tech, the Ed OG technique to making a record? 
Um, you know, I like to I like to write it first. I don't, you know, with, with, with special teams, we kind of do everything on the fly. It's like, all right, we in here, we all like this beat, let's write some. That's how the first album came along. The second album that, that that's coming out this year is called 13. We we, we took our time, we kind of took beats home. We, we were just wilding out. You know, the chemistry was so crazy. So for me, I like to get the beat, sit at home, quiet time. The family is working and at school and everybody's gone. It's just me and the beat. Right, 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 right. Shout out to M Dot, and, and you know that that's my technique, man. Just sitting there with me in the beat and really getting into it, and, and you know the best stuff comes out of that for me. Do you have any more questions? No more questions. Just everybody listening know that Ed OG, this is a legend on the Boston scene. OG in the game. If Ed you are OG. if you are a Boston hip hop head, you have to know about Ed OG. He's a hip hop head. Period. You know what I'm saying? Uh, P Rock, DJ Premier. I mean, all, my one of my favorite records you made, and I gotta give you props for this, is "Be a Father to Your Child." People don't give you credit for that, and I, I think that for me, coming up, you know, as a youngster back in the early '90s, and I, when I heard that, it had a message to it, a powerful message. And we don't hear that anymore in hip hop. Do you want to kind of say something about the state of hip hop right now? Like, do you think that there's, there needs to be more records like that to balance out, or do you think sure. that it's fine? I mean, you know, it, it, hip hop has become corporate, and corporate is about making money. So at the right. end of the day, whatever makes money is what corporate is going to get behind. But I mean, the independent movement, the, in, the, the internet, and all of that, you know, the, everybody can. Do what they gotta do at this point in life, man. So you know, there's a lot of cats at this point. You just gotta search out the real. Right. It's not gonna right. be in your face. You if you search it out, you'll find it. Y'all can check me at OG Boston MySpace. Holla at me. You shall find. Yeah. Right. Holla at me there. You know, send me a message, man. I, I, I usually reply. You know, depending on the message. Right. And um, busy man. You know? Yeah. You know, just just get at me, man. And, and that's what it is, man. Y'all, y'all can check me. Like I said, MySpace backslash Ed OG Boston. One word. Shoot me a message. Holla at me. We got shows coming up. We got a bunch of shows. We got Joe Buttons, March 5th. Yeah. We, we, we got uh, Black Moon and Smith and Wesson, March 13th at Harper's Ferry. Joe Buttons going to be at Middle East. We got uh, Dead Prez, March 28th at Harper's Ferry. We got Talib Kweli DJing at the Good Life, February 27th. That's like, crazy. holla at me on MySpace, holla at me on Facebook. I I'm there. Well, we gotta have you on Get the show, me. man. We gotta have you back on the, the show. Song, whatever man. it is, I give you a personal Sea Hope <laughs> VIP tour you, of Harvard. Have you guys been to the Hip Hop Archives? Yeah. Yes, I'll yes, yes. I'm there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good good one, job. Man. I'm, I'm there all the time. That's our dude over there. My record is up there. We signed it. We up in the Hip Hop Archives, man. So. Up. You know, like, shout out to Harvard. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff with Harvard this summer, too. That's what's real, up. real, real, real yeah, stuff. Your, your boys right, are okay. saying, so so we, we, we working yes, with sir. professors. We working up. with people over there, man. <laughs> we already in the middle. Hip-hop, you know, <laughs> all, all facets <laughs> of, of, of everything, man. We trying to do it all. So, you know, and this is a prime example of what we trying to do with Boston. Y'all know we got the House of Blues opening up in the spring on Lansdowne Street. The whole, like, 2800 so those big shows we will be able to get those big shows here we ain't gonna go to Worcester anymore to the goddamn Palladium we gonna have them right here in Boston right next to Fenway and yours truly Lee's Entertainment GYP Entertainment we gonna be putting them on so that's what it is man Thank you so much, Ed OG. It's your boy, DJ Hope the Anointed with Nasty Ned. That was Ed OG. You're listening to Darker Side.